is Nick with logosbynick.com and in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create a clipping mask with text using Adobe Illustrator. So we'll go ahead and get started here in Illustrator. I just want to create a new document for the uh, template. I want to use custom and I want to size it at 1280 by 1280 pixels and then I'll go ahead and click create. And the first thing I want to do is just make sure we set up our canvas so that we're all working with a similar workflow. So to do that, I'm going to come up here to where it says view and I want to make sure I turn off snap to pixel and make sure anything else that's enabled is unchecked as well. We don't want anything enabled here, especially something like smart guides because that's going to get in our way of what we're doing. And what we want to do next is come over here to where it says window and we're going to want to make sure we have these objects selected control, color, pathfinder and stroke and that'll give you these menus over here on the right hand side of the screen. So once you have that set up, we're good to get started. The first step is to place our image into the document here. So the photo I'm going to be working with, I'll go ahead and open it now. I'm going to go to file, place, and I'm going to grab my example photo, which is right here. And I'll click on the canvas to paste it in there. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to create, I'm going to create some text that says fitness and I'm going to place it over the photo and use the text as a clipping mask so that the, the text is comprised of this photo right here. So let me grab the text tool, which is up here. And I'll click on the canvas to create some text. But first I want to choose my font. So I'm going to come up here and choose my font. The font I'm using is called Serona. You can use whatever font you'd like. I, I, in my experience, uh, like the bolder the font, the better because the more of the text will show, I mean more of the photo will show through. If you're using like a really lightweight, thin font, there's not going to, you're not going to be able to see much of the photo. So I'd recommend you use a really bold, heavyweight font. And I'm just going to write in my text here. I'm just going to write fitness in all caps. Now let me grab the uh, select tool and let me scale this up. I'm going to hold shift and alt to scale this up. Let me bring this over here. I'm going to place the text on top of the subject here. And I want to make this a different color just so I can see this better. Let me make this a different color. Green looks pretty distinguishable up against the, uh, the yellow background there. So what I want to do now is I want to change this from a text object to actual outline. So I'm going to come up here to where it says type and I'm going to click on create outlines. And now I want to ungroup it by going to Object, Ungroup, and then click off of the uh, click off of the graphic to deselect everything. What I want to do now is just move these letters closer together because as they're spaced out right now, it's not really going to work well with the photo. The closer the letters are together, the more of the photo you'll be able to see within them, or the more sense the photo will make. So let me zoom in. I'm going to hold Alt and roll up the mouse wheel a couple of times to zoom in. And I'm going to click and drag this letter over to the right a little bit. And I'm going to hold Shift on the keyboard to lock it onto the, uh, the horizontal axis. And then I'm going to hold Shift and click on the letter I so I have both those letters selected. And I'm going to move them over as well. Again, holding Shift on the keyboard, move them over. Do the same thing with the rest of the word here. Hold Shift, click the letter. Move this over, then hold Shift to lock it onto the horizontal axis. And I'll just go through and do the rest of these real quick. And once you're finished, what you could do is you could hold shift and click on the last one so you have all of them selected. And I want to bring down the opacity so I can see the subject or the photo through these letters here. So I'm going to click on opacity, bring that down roughly in half. And now I want to manually place where these letters are going to be. So let me zoom out a little bit, hold alt, alt to roll down the mouse wheel. I want to place these letters. You might even have to resize them a little bit. I might make this a little bigger. Again, you could hold shift when you're scaling to make sure that it locks the proportions. And wherever the, the, the photo is showing through the green area of the text here is, is where the, uh, the photo is going to get clipped onto the, uh, onto the text. So you want to make sure you choose the right spot for it. I want to put this right about here. Maybe I'll make this a little bigger. Okay, right about there looks pretty good. Now what I want to do is I don't want to just make a clipping mask out of the text here and this photo. I want to add a little bit of a pop out effect as you saw in the thumbnail. I want the hand to be popping out of the text and I want the head to be popping out of the text as well and maybe this arm right here to be popping out of the text. So in order to do that, I'm going to create, I'm going to manually create objects going over the areas that I'd like to be popping out from the text. So let me zoom in over this hand area right here by holding alt and rolling up the mouse wheel. And to move the page around, I'm just pressing down the space pressing down the space bar and then clicking and dragging like that. What I'm going to do is grab the pen tool, which is over here. And let me deselect everything actually first. Let me click on the select tool. Let me press escape on the keyboard a couple of times. Or press control shift A to deselect everything. Let me come back to the pen tool 
Let me zoom in. I'm going to create manual points going around the arm here to create an object. And I'm just going to go through and create these points outlining the hand right here. And once you're finished outlining that specific area, just go ahead and click on the original point to close the path there. And there you go. Now that area of the, of the hand is going to be sticking out from the text. Now I want to do the same thing over here. I want to create objects around the other areas that I'd like to be sticking out from the text as well. So I'm going to go ahead and outline those as well, like the hair up here and the head. And once we have our objects created, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab the select tool and I want to click and drag. I want to select all of these objects, all of the letters and then both objects I just created over the subject there. So to do that, I'm just going to click and drag over everything. So I have everything on the canvas selected. And then I just want to deselect the photo. So I'm going to hold shift and click on the photo to deselect it. And what I'll do now is I'll come down here to the Pathfinder tab and where it says Shape Modes, I'm going to click on this button right here that says Unite. And that's going to unite them together into one object. And then I'll come up here to where it says Object, Compound Path, Make, that's going to make that into a compound path. And then what I'll do is I'll hold shift, click on the photo, and then we could just right click on it and go to make clipping mask. And as you can see, we have made a clipping mask from our text using that photo right there. So that's how you can go about doing that with Adobe Illustrator. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.